everybody, welcome back to another episode of Drunken Food with Puddin'. On tonight's menu, we have an awesome meal plan. We have breakfast burritos with bacon, ham, sausage, kielbasa, and all the fixings you're going to need. And by the way, this buzz is brought to you by Stoli's Vodka and V8 Peach Mango Juice because we keep it healthy around here. Alright folks, what we're going to do is we're going to cut, dice up all these vegetables, then we're going to throw them in the skillet, alright? You know what, before that though, you stay hydrated. I'm good to go now. I right, gotta cut this cocksucker up here. Gotta cut off the ends. Then you're gonna want to have it. Then you want to peel off that outer layer. This is why I call onions cocksuckers. We're gonna dice these up fairly fine. Okay. Now we're finished with that. We're just on the green pepper. But before we get too far into that, we're gonna hydrate just a little bit more. Show me if you need another drink. Bartender! Thank you. A little stir doesn't hurt anybody. Alright, let's finish dicing this pepper up. Alright, folks, we're gonna finish up with these uh Green peppers here, you want to dice them fairly thin like I mentioned earlier. Then kind of toss them off in a pile. After that, we're going to do some jalapenos. As many or little as you want, depends on the kick you want. I like a lot of kick. These don't have to be great, they don't have to be minced, nothing of that nature. You just want to kind of give them a rough chop. Just like that, easy peasy jap and easy. And now, we're going to toss the mushrooms, fall the veggies into a bowl, and then we're going to chop the meats. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, this is going to be a hell of a meal, folks. I tell you, this is going to be great. You add anything, bacon, sausage, all that good stuff, this is going to be a good f***ing meal. Let's toss them in first. One full package of this. And then, you got your onions, you got to have them. And the mixture of peppers and jalapenos. Oh, hell. I'm going to drink a little bit too much, but that's alright. That's why it's called drunken food, correct? Okay. Do, 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 do. And then now, just be patient with me here. I'm going to get me a little drink if that's okay. If you mind staying tuned. <laughs> Cheers to you, brother. Now we're going to add the last packet of mushrooms to the pile. I get the goddamn plastic off my fingers. Do this. And then, we're going to set this off to the side as we cut up the meats. Alright folks, we're going to cut up the meat here. Now, as you can tell, the ham is already diced and obviously the sausage is ground, so you don't got to worry about that. You want to dice the bacon up. Not too thin. It doesn't matter. I mean, hell. It's all going to cook down a little bit. It's bacon. There's a lot of fat in it. So we're going to do a little bit of that. And then from here, then we're going to cut that kielbasa. We're going to dice that pretty generously. We're going to cut that right down the middle one time. Just like that. And then we're going to... If I cut through a little drunk right now. That's the part of the fun you want to be. Then we're going to dice this up. All right. Then we're going to throw it in the skillet with everything else, and it's all going to come together very quickly, I promise you. Now, hey, a couple of you folks asked me to cook duck larange. Well, i got to be honest with you. I don't know what the f*** that is. So, some of you good Americans asked me to cook bricks and burritos, and that's what I'm going to do right now. Here we go. You hear that sizzle? That's exactly what you want, folks. Here just shortly, we're going to add in the diced up ham and the ground sausage. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. We got the kielbasa, sausage, and bacon 
sauteing up here, gonna get browned up real nice. Here for a bit, we're gonna throw in the ham. It's already cured, so you ain't gotta worry about it. You just gotta warm it up. No big deal. We're gonna get this other skillet going after a while to do the eggs. We're gonna add some eggs, some half and half, some seasonings. It's gonna be really good. We're gonna scramble them up, then add them into this at a later time. I better have me a drink. Hold on one second. It is drunken food, by the way. Drunken food with pudding. Name of the game. Alright, now we got the ham thrown in there. It's already cubed up. You can buy it and you can buy a ham steak. You can buy any ham and just cube it up yourself. But this is easier. It's a little bit more expensive. But it's way less of a pain in the ass. Obviously, you can tell there's so much meat. There's approximately probably three to four pounds of meat in this uh, skillet. We're going to let this cook down for a while. And after that, we'll add the veggies. We're going to throw the eggs in this other skillet here. And easy peasy, jack band easy. We're going to have drunken food with pudding. We're going to keep sauteing here, folks. Like I said, you want to brown stuff. It doesn't necessarily matter about the ham. It's a cured meat. Obviously, it doesn't matter. You can cook, you can even serve, serve it cold if you want. That's how you know it's a good video. I'm going to serve my words already. You do want to make sure the sausage and the bacon is all cooked, cooked all the way through. Like I said, kielbasa and the ham is cured shit. It doesn't matter. Heat it up to the fuck in your specs. It's all good. We're going to the veggies right now. Awesome, we got the mushrooms, we got peppers, onions, jalapenos for some good kick. So way to be, way to be. Can't be the pussy all your life, right? And this is going to cook down for a little while. And I want to mention here, we're going to add a little bit of seasoning. Yes, you have bacon, you have ham, you have sausage. But you do want to add just a touch of salt to your veggies. Not a lot, like you would in other stuff. Just a touch. But for some kick... Yes, I know. We got jalapenos in there. I get that. But, red pepper flake. That's one of your best friends when it comes to some stuff like this. I tell you what. Add a good pinch and a punch. And if you ask what I just said, it doesn't matter. Pinch and a punch, same f***ing thing. Doesn't matter. Just shake until you don't want to shake anymore. So, then of course, black pepper. It has the bee's knees of stuff. I tell you what. You throw a good dose of that shit in there, and it'll be easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. See, that's what's it up there. It was Japanese easy, but it's not anymore. Now you're going to let this cook down just a little bit. Now you dirty bastard. See? Stuff falls out of the skillet. That's okay. You know what I mean? That's what you got a camera crew for. They can pick the shit up for you. We're going to set this uh, uh, oven... Hold on here. We're going to set this oven to just, just right at you know, 280, 300 degrees, something in that range. Because once the burritos are put together, with all the meats and the eggs will eventually be in there, they're only going to cook for about 15, 16 minutes in the oven. Alright, everybody. We're going to crack some scrambled eggs in here. Now, hold on here. I'm going to get it done here. There's some eggs, different seasoning. We got regular IDI salt, you know what I mean. Black pepper, this jalapeno garlic. Before I do, once again, you gotta stay hydrated, even before you put in the good old fresh half and half. Hold on. I'm out of drink. Bartender! Here. Well, you ask, and you shall. Receipt. <laughs> uh, we're gonna crack the rest of these eggs. We'll probably do six, seven, eight of them. Depends on what you feel, it doesn't matter. At least six. I would say at least six, okay? They're gonna fluff they're gonna fluff up in the skillet. Nah, f hold on. Yep, that happened. Okay. We'll do that. Half 
Okay, just a couple tablespoons. I usually don't give measurements on my stuff, but you know, we're gonna do a, a couple of healthy dashes of this garlic jalapeno seasoning. Do that. A good dash of pepper. And of course, I did I salt. Take your fork, whisk, whatever you have, and whisk that together. Scramble the shit out of them. Alright everybody, we got all the bacon and sausage and all that good stuff cooked down. We got the eggs just cooked up. We're going to incorporate that all together. We're going to mix it just a little bit. And here shortly, we're going to add the cheese. We're going to throw everything in the oven. Let's mix it up just a little. That actually looks pretty well. I tell you what, meat burritos are more or less meat burritos. With a little egg on the side, I just got to be almost there. Alright. Now, after one quick drinky poo, by our unpaid corporate sponsors, Stoli's Vodka, V8 Peach Mango Juice, this buzz is brought to you by them. Great people, by the way, because they made this. So we're going to throw the cheese in, we're going to mix it in, Yada yada, wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Put the oven for roughly 15, 20 minutes. Here's the cheese, here's the beverage. There you go. And if you want everything to be equal with this mixture, you don't want to do the entire bag. You probably want to do two thirds, three quarters. You do not want to do the entire bag. Now, if you want a glob of cheese in every bite, I can understand that. Then you probably want to do the whole bag. But otherwise, just to, like I said, incorporate things, have a little bite of everything. Three quarter, two thirds, this, that, and the other. See? Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Mix this all together. And then we're going to make our burritos here. Alright, everybody. We got everything incorporated together. I'm going to start building burritos and put them in the oven. Here we go. Okay. You want to put about a scoop and a half, give or take, in each burrito. Might be a little much. That's okay. And that's in each burrito. Pull them over. Put them right there. There we go. That's a perfect one right there. P-E-R-F-E-C-T or however you asshole spell it. I think I'm right actually. I probably deserve a doctorate in English. It's going to cook up. Not crunchy, but it's going to cook up nice and crispy for you. With all kinds of succulent goodness. And just remember, you should be drunk when you're watching this. As I am drunk when I'm making this. Drunken food is good food, no matter what you do. And by the way, we're going to smother all this in liquid butter. So you guys stay tuned for that. Alright everybody, we got the burritos filled, stuffed, and they're covered in clarified butter. We're going to put them in the oven for about 15, 16 minutes, give or take. Then we're going to pop them out, ready to plate. Here we go. Oh, you dirty rascal. Alright, everybody. Now it's just a waiting game. Here we go. Alright, everybody. The burritos have been in for approximately 15 minutes or so. We're going to take them out of the oven. Oh, here we go. Now, we're going to plate them. We're going to take this. We're going to start plating. We'll get them all out. Get them squared away. And you know what? I'm going to tell you something, folks. I got to tell you. We're going to take a quick break here in about 30 seconds. I'm going to need to refresh my drink, and I appreciate your patience. 
All right, folks, we've got everything plated. Before I take this bite, I want you to hit that like and subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. Now, here we go. Oh. Give me one minute. Come on, one minute. Now that was an episode of Drunken Food with Pudding.